how can we live without water isn't it strange that water can give life and take life as well what have we done to save and protect water to find out let's get into our chapter water resources water is the most precious natural resource that we have and 3/4 of the earth's surface is covered with water that is why the earth is also called a watery planet or more accurately the blue planet still some parts of the earth suffer from scarcity of water some of the estimates say that by the year 2025 around 2 billion people will not have access to enough water strange water water everywhere but not a drop to drink so what is leading us to such situation well like i told you 3/4 of the earth's surface is covered with water but 96.5% of this water exists in oceans as salty water and only 2.5% exists as fresh water now nearly 70% of this fresh water is found as ice sheets and glaciers in antarctica greenland and mountainous regions of the world while a little less than 30% is stored as groundwater in the world's aquifers and on the 133rd position when we consider the amount of water each person receives in a year so it's immensely important to conserve water right now because the total renewable water resources of india are estimated at only 1897 square kilometer per annum and it is predicted that by the year 2025 large parts of india will join other countries or regions that have absolute water scarcity now another reason for scarcity of water is rapid increase in population this has resulted in greater demand for water and the unequal access to it a large population means more water requirement not only for domestic use but also to produce more goods fragile water resources are being overused and that have caused their depletion in several cities and with people industries urbanization comes pollution pollution too affects the water levels now most of the time water is available in sufficient quantity but people cannot use it due to its bad quality most of the water is polluted these days by domestic and industrial wastes and to add on chemical pesticides and fertilizers used in agriculture are making it hazardous for human use so how can we tackle this problem how do we conserve and manage water have any efforts been made so far well let's find out these answers in the next video tutor mate for more amazing video lectures download the free app on apple app store or google play store